Night Line. I tell you what, we have had such a wonderful time on the first hour. God is just moving. We have just been blessed by the Lord. The Holy Spirit is having its way. I am so thankful to be in your homes on this evening. And in case you weren't with us on the first hour, I am your host for the evening. I am Annie T. Broughton. And we do have an awesome man of God that's going to be on Nightline with us tonight. He's the author of Financial Principles, Hidden Treasure. Oh, my God, I cannot wait. I'm super excited to talk with him about his book. His name is Terry Trotter. Amen. So God bless you, Terry. Well, thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you for uh, having me on here. Thank you, Nightline. And uh, it's, a, it's an honor to be here. So. Yeah, I, I, I said before we came on the air, I, you know, I mean, you're just a good looking man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, look like you should be on the set with Blake Shelton, you know, <laughs> on The Voice. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm not making you blush, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Can we edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> but how you doing? Uh, I'm doing good, a little nervous. Uh, this is the first time on uh, television, so uh, uh, a little nervous, but... Uh, I think God's put it in me, so if we can get it out, we'll, yeah. we're going we're to be fine. We're so. going to be fine. And yeah. then, so tell me, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I live in Piedmont, and it's me and my wife. We have no children. So uh, uh, right now, I'm semi-retired. And so I'm uh, working with a, uh, a foster home in uh, Anderson. It's called Calvary Home for Children. Yeah. Great people down there, great people. And in the summertime, uh, I get to work with the kids. We, when they're out of school, I do different classes on uh, life skills. Mm -hmm. And some of them are like, uh, it might be even plumbing, uh, electrical, drywall, everything, right? And then one class is going to be on financial uh, matters, right? So kind of teach them young to, to, to not spend their whole paycheck. You know, when right. they start out, you know, you spend your whole paycheck, then... If your tires go bad or, or you got something comes up, then, you, you know, you, you're out of luck. So you're, you're kind of behind the eight ball. But uh, so I think people need to learn young. And mm -hmm. and I know growing up, nobody nobody really taught me finances. I had to kind of <laughs> learn it. So it's it's uh, uh, so I'm, I'm glad to be able to to, to do this. So. Well, you know, God's word teaches us to train up a child. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in the way that he should go. So that includes finances as well. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I think some of those children are a little older than others. You know, some some of the the children are, are in their thirties and forties that still need to be trained up. Wow, so, yeah. thirties and forties. Well, that's yeah. good. That's good. But they're not at the home. <laughs> this is just I mean in general. <laughs> Well, you know, my mom taught me coming up, you know, when I was younger to, you know, save money and not just spend it as soon as you get it. You know how to say your right. money burn your pocket or yeah. burn your hand or whatever, you know. So that's good to be taught, you know, while you're young and even the older generation as well. Right. Because I, I think there's uh, so many people out there struggling. Right? Yeah. And they, they don't know, you know, they're good people, good people, Christian. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, they're just, they've never been really taught how to manage and uh uh, you know, I, I think even in the, the body of Christ, we're not really being taught everything. I mean, you might get a, a, a sermon on tithing and, and maybe something planting a seed and reaping a harvest. But I mean, mm -hmm. there's so much more to finances that, that we need to know, you know. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so that's, that's kind of what this book's about. It's, it's, the Bible tells us we can't serve God and money, yeah. but we can serve God with our money. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what a lot of people are not doing. And that's what uh, what I bring out in this book is just the, the principles of uh, how do we serve God with our money? Right. So exactly. That's, and that's that's kind of what the, the gist of this. So uh. you tickled me uh, <laughs> <laughs> in one of your chapters. You said that uh, one person, one man was trying to figure out how he can give his money to God. And he just yeah. took it out and threw it up in the air. <laughs> yeah. And said, God, whatever don't fall down belongs to you. Right. And I thought, wow, that is funny. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know that I originated that. I, I, I probably got that from somebody. But, yeah. uh, you know, the, the thing is, if, 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 if I could uh, take a minute to talk about tithing, it's, uh, to me it's an act of worship. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's me telling God, thank you. For giving me the, the, the mental ability to do the job, yes. the physical strength to do the job, and the opportunity to do the job. I'm saying thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it's not I'm not I'm not paying the preacher. I'm not 
you know, like <laughs> these lights, this cameras, everything costs money, right? Ooh, yeah. But, but when, when, when I'm tithing, I, I'm, I'm honoring God. I'm honoring wow. with the first fruits, right? So I'm, I'm uh, um, it's, 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 you know, it's between me and God. Mm -hmm. now, now, what the money's being used for uh, is, is a different thing, right? Right. Mm -hmm. but, but between me and God, I, I'm, I'm, I'm paying, a, 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 I hate to even use the word paying, I'm giving a tithe, I'm yeah. honoring the Lord mm -hmm. with, with my first fruits, with the, yeah. you know, with, with what he's, you know, I'm thanking God. So right. uh, it's, it's not about what the money goes to. I mean, it, it, it's, it's good, you know, to, if it's supporting missionaries or, or going out to, uh, you know, to pay the, 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 the pastor. Is that? Uh, you know, it's, it's yeah. good, but I mean, the, the giving of it is just between me and God. You right. Know? You know, so. Exactly. Uh, so what you're trying to do, and I love, I love the title of your book, and we says financial principles. Yeah. You know, hidden treasure. Okay. Because we, there is a hidden treasure that we, yes. if we do what God asks us to do. Right, right. We'll find that treasure. Yeah, and, and the treasure's in here. Yes. It's in the Word, right? <laughs> and, and the reason I say it's hidden is because, like, if you try to live a Christian life without God, that's, that's hard, impossible. And you're going to be miserable. Same thing with, <laughs> if you try to read this without God opening your understanding. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you'll understand the words, but the, the, the deep truth of it, you don't, you don't get, you know, you, 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 you know, I can give you examples of that, but I just, uh, uh, you just, you know, it kind of, I think that's why there's so many different translations. People are hungry to understand it. Yes. But God has to open our open our minds or open our understanding, you know, and I think that's that's the hidden part. You know, it's in there, but you gotta <laughs> dig it out, you know. You gotta find that word that says dig here. You know, that's that's where the, the buried treasure's at. So uh, what, what I try to do is have a like a little treasure map on here and and there's actually, you know, you uh, we're, we're neighbors. There's a, a river road on here. I, I think you yeah. know where river yeah. road's at. But, uh -huh. but uh, I had the, some people in Anderson uh, do the cover and uh, also the, uh, the the formatting of the book. But anyway, they put like a, uh, you know, I wanted a treasure map yeah. in the background, right? So they, I saw that river road. I said, I mean, that's, something's going on here, you know. So, uh, but, but just probably people in that area is going to get that. But anyway. <laughs> But Terry, you know, I, I, I love your book. I'm, my husband and I, we have said, and we've read a great portion of your book and gleaned so much from it. But one day, <clears throat> I mean, you just sat down and said, well, I just want to write a book on financial principles. I mean, but how did that really come about uh, in your spirit? I, I've studied this, uh, we'll, we'll call it stewardship, God's way of handling money. I, I've studied it for, I'll say, 40 years, both secular, because, mm -hmm. I mean, you can't, you know, there's no Christian bank out there. You got to, you got to deal with the <laughs> secular world, and the, yeah. and and in the the financial world, you got you got uh, terminology. Like if you go to a lawyer, he's 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 got his law terms, right? Right. Or if you go to a doctor, he's he's speaking medical stuff. That mm -hmm. same thing in the financial world. You got uh, uh, words that hey, I, you know, you need to understand at least some basics to deal with the secular. But but getting back to your question, it was like. There were all these bits and pieces. Like I read one book, it's like 600 pages to get one idea out of it. Wow! So I'm thinking, this is a very small book, but I packed a lot in here. Yes. So I've taken things from several books and and different. You know, when I was coming up, there was a guy named Larry Burkett. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever heard that name. I think so. But anyway, he he was the guru. He was the Christian yeah. financial guru back in that time, and he was, you know, he was he you know he was going over budgets and. You know all kind of stuff and 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 tithing and and giving. You know, got got down in, into the where where it was at. You know, on the on the uh, the uh, uh, the whole core of it. You know, and the Bible's so full of uh, uh, messages about money. You know, mm -hmm. a, a lot a lot of stuff in there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's somebody said that was the most uh, talked about subject. Now I don't I don't know. It's <laughs> it's one or two. I don't. I mean, more than heaven and more. More than a lot, most <laughs> subjects, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody deals with it seven days a week. You're dealing with money, you know. And yeah. so I think it's it's very important, but we got to do it God's way, you know. It you belongs to, to it. Him. It does. It does. And uh, I tell you, just um, reading your book and just learning so much from it. But once this book gets into the hands of so many people, their eyes are going to be 
open, more enlightening because, Thank like you, I said, you can have so many books out there, but you can have a big old thick book. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, you only get one point out of it. Yeah. But your book have scripture in it. It's got a little comedy in it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I tell you, when I was writing, I tried to put more comedy in, and, and every time I, I, before I write, I would say, God, tell me what to put in and tell me what to take out. <laughs> And a lot of times the, the comedy got taken out of there. I mean, there, I had some funny stuff in there, but I, that's, that, it didn't fit, you know. But, you so. know, Terry, one thing, too, you know, uh, by us going through COVID and so many different things, right. you know, we need a little laughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. We, we <laughs> because do. It's, we. It's, you know, laughter is good, like medicine. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, because when I read that <laughs> about throwing the mud up in the air, <laughs> <laughs> and say, God, whatever you, yeah. you know, you take what you get and what falls down belong to me, you know. <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, if he, if he, he sneezed about that time, you know, <laughs> you know, money's going everywhere, you know. You wouldn't see it again. But God doesn't think like we do, you know. I mean, his, his you know, that's something I might do, you know. If, if, if somebody did that to me, I'd, I'd, yeah. you know, I'd, I'd blow that money away. But, but God's, God's merciful. He doesn't, thank God, he doesn't think like us. Yeah. He said in his word, he said, I wish above all things that you would prosper yeah. and be in health, yeah. even as your soul prospers. And that's your mind, your will, your intellect. God wants the whole man to prosper. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Well, we are talking to Terry Trotter, uh, and he he's the author of Financial Principles, Hidden Treasure. And so... Again, tell someone to tune in to Nightline tonight. We do have prayer partners on hand. If you want to call in and ask Terry a question, <laughs> please feel free to do that. Right now, we're getting ready to go to our musical guests. We're getting ready to go to Eddie and Sherry Richards, and they're going to be singing Keep Your Eyes on the Prize. Amen. <laughs> God created, sent His Son, and set us free. All the rest is but interpretation, and only in His grace can we believe. Keep your eyes on the prize. Don't turn away, just keep the faith. Don't be fooled. But the truth will fade away. Keep your eyes on the prize. Now you can't buy a drink of living water, but the fountain flows for those who know his name. God supplies the needs of those who seek Him. Our inheritance is there for us to claim. Keep your eyes on the prize. Don't turn away. Just keep the faith. Don't be fooled.
Wow, I tell you what, um, Eddie and Sherry Richards are truly a blessing to us tonight on Nightline, and we are so blessed to have them. We are talking to uh, Terry Trotter. He wrote a book. He's the author of Financial Principles, Hidden Treasure. So, um, again, he's been giving us so much wisdom tonight of how to, we can manage our finances. Uh, there is a scripture um, in Psalms 24 and 1 where it reads, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. For he founded upon the seas and established upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? and who shall stand in his holy place. So uh, in your book, you talked about the earth being the Lord's. <laughs> and you made mention of that because you said that we are managers right, of what God right, has blessed right, us with. Right. Why did you <clears throat> say that? Well, uh, everything does belong to him, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we're, we're just taking care of it. You know, he's entrusting it to us. Mm -hmm. And as, as I'm about to get into the uh, parable of the talents, yeah. it's, it's, uh, that's in Matthew 25th uh, chapter. But, but uh, what it is, he entrusts to it. And can, I, can I read that? Yeah, can I read that please. real quick? Okay, I got to yeah. put my helpers on. Put your on. specs on. Put my specs <laughs> on here. Okay, I'm in the uh, 25th chapter of uh, Matthew, uh, beginning in verse 14. And this is the NIV. I don't know what, what version you have, but, but uh, okay. uh, and I think in the book it's the New King James Version, but uh, it says, again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one that had two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned to settle accounts with them. The man who had received five talents bought the other five, or brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. See, I've gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I'll put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's uh, happiness. Uh, let, me, let me stop there. I, w I was thinking, uh, you know, he, he said he'd give different amounts to uh, based on their abilities. Yeah. And and so as I was writing this, I had chapter one done, but I really didn't know what, what's he talking about these abilities, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I think if we get down to the core of what all in the world belongs to God and what belongs to us, and if we, if we get down to what what we, you know, we don't own our own bodies. We don't own our, wow. we don't, we don't own, uh, there's only about one thing that I know that we own, and that's our will, yeah. our, 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 our will to choose. Right. We can choose God or not choose God. Yeah. And I think the the ability he's talking about is to make godly decisions. So if, if this one person can make uh, uh, better godly decisions, and and you really don't see that, that when, the, the, when the landowner left, he didn't tell the people, you do this, this, and this with my money, yeah. right? But, but else, elsewhere in this Bible, it's giving you instructions of what <laughs> you do. But he, on this parable, Jesus didn't tell us what, you know, you do this and this, okay? So the, the man with the five talents, he went and, and, and traded and came back with five more. And as we read a little further down, it's saying, well done, good and faithful servant. Yeah. But see, if we look at that, we say, is he a good and faithful servant because he doubled his money? Wow. I say no, no. I, he said he's not good because he doubled his money. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the godly decisions he made with his money. Mm. That it wouldn't wouldn't the doubling of the money. So that's where the when I talk about hidden treasure, you got to dig into that. You can't just read that and say, well, he doubled his money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's you know that's uh, it's how he doubled his money, and and the scriptures don't tell. You got to <laughs> dig into that and get that that treasure out of that. You know. And, and, and the same thing at, at the end of that verse is talking about, well, uh, there was one servant that, that went and buried it, right? Mm -hmm. So it said he was afraid and he, you know, he, the, he was complaining about the master there. Well, you were, you know, you you reap where you didn't sow, you know, you know so I'm going to be doing all the work. So you're going to collect what I, all for my work, my sweat. So, uh, you know, he, he just went and buried it, you know, and then the master come back and he says, well, you know, you could at least took it to the bank and got, and got something, <laughs> yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you know. 
So, uh, and, and, and what, what the, 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 the master of the Lord said to him was, you know, I mean, just uh, you lazy and wicked servant. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, 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 he was wicked and lazy, not because he buried his money. It's the decisions he made. It's the godly, you know, you're, you're entrusted with his, everything you're entrusted with, you know, with clothes, with yes. food, with everything, yes. your everything. children, yes. everything, <laughs> right? Wow. Mm -hmm. So all we've got is, is our decisions we make, you know. It's, it's like, uh, I was thinking about this, and this is totally separate. I don't know why I'm throwing this in, but anyway, it's like, this is a controversial subject, but abortion, where the right to choose, God gives us the right to choose. I don't, I don't think anybody's taking that away, but mm -hmm. he says choose life. Right. You know, so it, it, it's, it's those decisions we make, you right. know. God gives us a choice to reject him or accept him, mm -hmm. you know. And, and a lot of times it's, he's, he's talking about money because that's where, you know, everybody's dealing with money, you know. Wow. So it's, it's, it's where he can get your attention, you know. You know, if, if uh, you got trouble with finances, you got troubles, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, but I don't, I don't know, I, I kind of no. rambled on there, that's, I don't know, no, I don't know. That's, hey, you're making a point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my husband and I, we was studying the scripture about the talents, and the story came to my mind, <clears throat> I don't know if you heard it before, but this man uh, went out of town. And he told this, this servant, he said, listen, I want you to build the best, the best house and the biggest house, and I want you to have it ready when I come back. So instead of the guy using the best lumber, he went out and got the cheapest mm, lumber. Mm. You know, he was going to cut corners. Right. You know, he got the cheapest everything, mm. trying to swindle the, the land owner out of the money. Yeah. When he came back, he said, I want to bless you with this house. Hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> he really cheated himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he wanted to bless him. Right, right. With and, and the house that he used the cheapest material out of. So he was going to move into that house, that cheap, right? He was going to give it to the man who built it. And so he had built himself. A yeah, cheap house. He, he reaped what he sowed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You can that's... use that. <laughs> right. In the next book. I'll... <laughs> wow. But you say you love ministering to teenagers and you want to start them out early, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much time we have, but I was I was telling you in the summertime we do like a class with the the, the, the children, and. Uh, uh, and chapter seven in there goes into kind of what, you know, if, and I keep the math simple, you know, because I don't want to bog people down with those numbers. I mean, I don't like math, and, and, you, and you learn in principles. You're not trying to be, become a mathematician with your money, but, right. but it's like, all right, let's, let's say you got $100, then you break that up, and the, like $70 may go to pay your bills, right? And then you got the, the 30% or $30. Is, is what I say going for your future. Yeah. And I break that down into three things. You got giving, investing, and saving. So when I go into the, all the different things of what, you know, but, but see, if it, I, I like to teach that young because it, if I talk to most people now, 100% of their money is going to pay their bills. Right. You know, for me to say, you know, this is a, a better way, you can't just go from 100% to, to give, you know, doing the 30 percent, like I'm saying, right. you, you got to, you know, maybe I'm just doing 99 percent, you know, but maybe your house is, is too much money for your uh, your uh, paycheck or yeah. your car, your car may be. I mean, my, the first couple of cars I bought were clunkers, you know, I mean, so yeah. it's like when you're first starting out, you know, don't buy the, the brand new and don't get the biggest house. Got, right. Start small and then as you as you build up, then you can get the bigger. I mean, you know, and then it's it's you're still within that you know, the 70 percent or, or, you know, that's just a, a, a kind of an arbitrary number if it was like 71 and 29 or something. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the point I'm making is like part of the money you get or in earn is for paying bills. Right. Part of it's for your future. And, and like I said, I break it down into to giving, uh, to saving, and then investing, which are three different, different things. But... Uh, well, Terry, I tell you what, one thing I, I've, I've found out in just talking with you tonight, 
that you are a great teacher. Ah, thank you, thank <laughs> you. You are a great teacher, so you, you got to come back. I would and, love to. Yeah, I would love and to. share some more about your book. But where can we find your book? Uh, it's on Amazon, and I think I gave a uh, email, so you can uh, write me there and uh, at uh, Hidden Treasures Book at gmail.com. They have put it on. Yeah, on okay, the okay, yeah. okay, great. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's available on uh, Amazon. Uh, uh, dot com. So, <laughs> yeah, it's available. So, well, we were truly, truly blessed uh, in in you coming tonight and just sharing well, you. uh, your wisdom on financial principles, hidden treasure. So, thank you again. We're thankful for everyone who called in tonight. Uh, somebody called in and said they're dealing with COVID. Two month old baby oh, has COVID. Someone else called and said they're in jail. They're needing prayer tonight. Um, someone else called in and said it's having problem, problems in their body. Um, someone else called in and said um, health adults and said need prayer tonight. And someone else called in and said need prayer for salvation, protection, health, good decision, and so many other things. So we're going to ask you, Terry, if you don't mind, please, sir, just hold on to this prayer request. And we're just going to pray over them. And we're going to pray financial blessings as well over people. But thank you for being with <clears throat> us on Nightline tonight and just tuning in. And we pray that you were blessed, that you learned something, and that we want Terry try to come back and be with us. Will you close us out in pr prayer, yes, please, sir? Thank you. Heavenly Father, you see all these requests, Lord. I, I can't meet these needs, Lord. Only you can, Lord. You yes, see God. each one, Lord. You see their hearts, Lord. You see their struggles, thank their you, pain, Jesus. Lord. Ask you to be with them, Lord, and uh, uh, Lord, just those that, that I know that, that that Lord are struggling, Lord, with this COVID, this virus, Lord. I don't, I don't know what it's all about, Lord. You saw it coming, Lord, before it was ever here, Lord. You got the answer, Lord. But we need to draw close to you, Lord, because yes. you do have the answer, Lord. And we just thank you for all you do for us, Lord. And, and Lord, may this this book uh, help people financially, Lord, because yes, you came that we might have life abundantly, Lord. And, and Lord, if if you're struggling, Lord, that's that's uh, that's not abundant life, Lord. You came to give us abundant life, Lord. And we just, uh, we believe that, Lord. And we stand on it, Lord. And just uh, be with these people out there, Lord. Just uh, uh, strengthen them, Lord. Give them hope, Lord. And just, uh, we just thank you for Nightline, Lord, that, uh, that, that the word's going out there to the people, Lord. And just, just thank you, Lord. Bless Nightline, Lord. And thank you, Jesus, Lord. In Jesus' name.